Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What security measures are in place for ballot drop boxes? To ensure the integrity and security of the voting process, several comprehensive measures are implemented for ballot drop boxes. First, the physical security of the drop boxes is a top priority. These boxes are constructed from heavy-duty materials such as steel and are designed to prevent tampering. They often feature locks and tamper-evident seals, with only election officials and designated ballot retrievers having access to the keys or combinations. The openings on these boxes are specifically designed to accept only ballots, with openings approximately quarter inch in size to prevent larger items from being inserted or ballots from being removed. Additionally, the boxes are designed to prevent ballot overflow and are regularly inspected to ensure their integrity. Drop boxes are strategically located in secure areas. These locations are well lit and highly trafficked, often near government buildings like libraries, which have their own security presence. If such locations are not available, drop boxes may be secured with bollards and video surveillance equipment. For unstaffed, outdoor drop boxes, they are typically permanently or semi-permanently secured into concrete to prevent them from being moved or tampered with. Staffed drop boxes, when not in use, are secured in a locked room and sealed with tamper-evident seals. Ballot collection teams play a crucial role in maintaining security. These teams are well-trained and often consist of bipartisan pairs. They use the buddy system for ballot pickup, ensuring that at least two team members are present at all times. They also complete chain of custody paperwork during each collection, documenting the date, time, and security seal numbers. Monitoring is another key aspect of Dropbox security. Permanent drop boxes are monitored by 24-7 video surveillance, while temporary drop boxes are staffed during their operational hours. Rovers or security personnel regularly check the drop boxes for any signs of tampering or damage, varying their arrival times to avoid creating observable patterns. Local law enforcement is also involved in the security process. Oh. They are provided with maps of drop box locations and requested to make regular patrols near these areas. This ensures an additional layer of security and rapid response to any incidents. Chain of custody procedures are rigorous and detailed. Each time ballots are collected, logs are completed with the date, time, and security seal numbers. The number of ballots retrieved is documented and the box is resealed. These logs are signed by the team members involved. In summary, the security of ballot drop boxes is maintained through a combination of robust physical design, strategic placement, trained collection teams, continuous monitoring, and strict chain of custody procedures, all aimed at ensuring the integrity of the voting process. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.